hello all welcome to tech capture so in this video we are going to discuss about very interesting and core service in google cloud that is a google cloud logging and monitoring so if you are using a google cloud in any way if you are learning google cloud if you are working already on a google cloud in your organization or if you are preparing for the certification this video will be very helpful just watch it till the end because i will be covering very important features in a google cloud logging and monitoring so we'll see what we are going to cover in this video so we'll see what is google cloud logging how to check the logs what are the different types of logs what are the audits log how we can enable audits log what are the log router how we can create log syncs what is monitoring and how we can create alerts and monitor gcp resources okay so all these things we'll cover in this video so first we'll see what is a google cloud logging so google cloud logging is a part of google cloud operation suite of a product and it includes storage for logs, a user interface called the Logs Explorer. So it is something a theoretical definition. Let me explain you in a better way. So whatever we are doing on a Google Cloud, it's being tracked in your cloud logging. Okay. So even if you are listing your bucket, even if you are just opening your bucket, it will be tracked with your email ID. Okay. I am the person and I am trying to access this data or if you are deleting you are a VM instance, it is being tracked in your cloud logging. Okay, you deleted this instance from this browser and from this IP address and from this location. So all minimal details are being tracked in your Google Cloud logging. Okay, so how to check that? I will show you when I go to a cloud console. But first, I will see only what is cloud logging. So logging lets you read and write log entries, queries and your logs. So you can read entries from logging as well as you can write entries in logging programmatically as well okay so log entries are held in a cloud logging for a limited time known as a retention period so each kind of log have certain retention period so logs will not be there always so it might have retention period suppose for one year for 90 days or 30 days so log will have their a retention period so what are these retention period we'll see that also okay now i'll go to my cloud console and i will show you a logging ui okay so let's go to cloud console now so just before that we'll see the, what are the different log type so we'll collect logs from different sources in a google cloud logging so this can be your google cloud platform logs means logs collected from all a google cloud services then user returns logs so if user are interacting with a google cloud through api they can write logs to the google cloud logging using a cloud logging api then we have agent logs so we can install agent logging agent on our vm instance and that will collect your application logs as well okay then we have security logs so google will provide a security logging where all cloud audit logs access transparency log or activity logs are in tracked in the logging so what are the different of or significance of these all kind of logs? we'll see in a cloud console so let's go to the cloud console now now i am in my cloud console so from here i'll just type a logging and i'll go to logging explorer okay so this is the logging and I'll also open a new tab again. Okay, so here what I will do, I'll just keep it last 15 minutes because I want to generate some logs and I want to show you how we can check that logs. Okay. So in last 15 minutes, uh, hopefully we won't have any log. Okay. So how we can check a Google Cloud services log. So here, this is a search field. I will let you know how we can use this search field. So this is your resource log. Okay. So here you can find all your services. If you want to check the logs related to any of the particular service, you can find that logs here. So suppose I want to check logs related to my VM instance. I can check that here. So let me show you that if I click on the VM instance, so it will show you VM instance ID, not a VM name. And that VM instance ID you will see in your VM page. Okay. So I'll just apply it but there won't be anything for last 15 minutes so i'll keep it last seven days so you can see the logs related to vm instance now you could see you can see all logs related to your vm instance because i selected complete vm instance resource so it will show all logs it is serial console log as well as startup script logs all logs related to vm will show here if anyone created the vm it will show here if anyone deleted the vm it will show all logs related to vm instance it will show here now what i will do i want to see something okay 
I want to create one VM and I want to see who created that VM or who deleted a particular VM how I can check that so so just look at here currently no logs I'll just keep it default I'll clear this filter okay so currently no logs for last 15 minutes now I will go into a compute engine page and here I'll create one VM very quickly so I won't select anything specific I'll just create one default VM I just open click to on correct VM and now I directly go and click on create VM okay I just want to check the logs I don't want to do anything with the VM for now and now we will see a logs here so it will take a couple of seconds and we should see the logs here now okay now you could see logs are created so what it is saying vm instance dot insert it means a vm is created here who created this vm you could see my name here correct so now suppose i want to check all details of the person who created this vm i want to check the activity what activities that person has performed with this vm so what i will do i have a audit logs here I'll go to log name I'll scroll down okay and I have activity log I'll click on activity logs and it will give all activity perform in last 15 minutes okay so what activity perform so this is request and response so I have activity which I created instance so instant dot instant is method name so I'll just show you I'll just expand this and I'll just copy this and I'll just use my notepad to see these logs so you will get better understanding of these logs okay so what was the request here so request what compute instance dot create is a permission required method name beta dot compute instance dot insert so user requested to create a VM okay and it created the VM this is the disk it created along with the vm and this is the instance name it created and caller ip so who created this vm so created by this person this is my email id from where it created it created so these are the default i would say the browser names chrome mozilla it is suspecting and then okay uh, i'll show you the ip address so from this ip it created the vm so if i go to ip address lookup so it will show my location as well from this IP I'll go any website where I can see this IP address lookup there are multiple website you can use I'll use this one and if I get IP details it will give me service provider name and my location okay so it is giving my location this is my ISP name so it is giving all details who perform this operation in a logging so now it was having activity log okay so we have different logs in our add audit logging so in audit logging so we have activity log we have data access log so what I will do I will click on data access log now and I will try to access some bucket from my storage so even if you are accessing bucket it will log but there is something we have to do to configure a data access log I will show you that also so, okay this is the bucket I will use so if I open this bucket container I am just opening this I am just browsing this object I am not doing anything okay so I am just looking at this object I will again go back to logging and I will try to check a data access log so what kind of data accessed by the user so log name in audit log I will go to data access log now and I will keep it last of 15 minutes again so you could see there are no logs available by default so what we have to do we have to enable data access logs so how we can enable so go to IAM 
and here go to audit logs and I search here with the storage okay clouds Google Cloud Storage I'll click on this checkbox and I will just mark the required checkbox data read log data write log admin read log I'll just mark it I'll save okay and now I'll go to my storage and I will perform the same operation I'll just browse inside this bucket and I will try to see the objects inside this bucket okay so only I just went into this bucket I access this object okay now let's see I'll just refresh it okay now immediately you can see a lot of logs are being generated because I access this bucket so you could see the object list even I listed the object or I just uh, gone through this object list it is showing that okay this person has accessed this data and from this this IP address okay so all these things are getting tracked if I enable audit access log uh, data access log okay so now suppose I will try to access one particular file inside it so I'll just open one of the file I will go to this okay and now I'll just refresh my logs again Okay, now you could see it is showing I accessed this file you could see the object dot git so if I open this just expand it and just copy it to clipboard okay so what it is showing I access this image so ending with 17907 okay so let me see if it was the same image 17907 so it is showing in logs it access this image from a particular IP address so all my details again the IP address principal email so if I delete anything it will just track there so everything it will track if I am enabling a data access log okay so that's one thing we can use this data access log so again we have one uh, access transparency log as well so these logs are used so suppose we are having in production issue and we are taking google helps to resolve that issue and google employee or uh, google people will troubleshooting our issue in our gcp project then any action taken by a google employee will be tracked in a access transparency log so you will have confidence okay google employee is doing all these action which can be tracked later or which can be tracked anytime after the issue is resolved so even they are doing any restart or whatever they are doing while troubleshooting the issue it will get tracked in access transparency log okay so these are the different type of logs available we can see here now we are seeing this log in cloud logging it means these logs are stored somewhere this might be stored in some storage bucket or a table anywhere these are stored so how we can check that so I can go in a refine scope okay. and here I can see these are from the default and required so these are your storage bucket name you could see the project tech capture location global bucket underscore default and underscore required so what is this underscore default and underscore required so let's go to the slide for a one minute and i'll just want to show you what is this underscore default and underscore required bucket okay so required log bucket so cloud logging automatically routes the following type of logs into underscore required bucket now we see we can see a uh, data access log we can see admin activity logs but these are by default first stored in a bucket which is having name underscore required and this will store what kind of log it will store your admin activity audit log it will store your system log system event log access transparency log and data access logs as well okay so cloud logging retains the logs in the bucket for 400 days so now if you are going for associate cloud engineer or professional cloud architect this is very important two things you have to remember these two bucket name and their retention period so all these 
audit logs it will be stored for 400 days and again we have one bucket which is underscore default we'll see that also and one more thing this required bucket you cannot modify you cannot disable okay so we'll see that also in a cloud console second thing a default log so any log entry that are not available in this required bucket will go to by default bucket okay and this is having retention of a 30 days so these logs will be deleted after the 30 days from the day it was created okay now i'll go to a cloud console and i'll show you these two required and a default bucket okay so i'm in cloud console i'll just expand this okay and now i'll go to log router here So here you could see the name cloud logging bucket underscore default underscore required and if I click on details view sync details so it is having a filter what kind of log it is being stored so log not log id it means the log which are not audit logs the logs which are not external audit logs or activity log the log which are not system event log the log which are not a part of your access transparency so these all will be stored in your default bucket and what's stored in a required bucket so i think the first filter it should be with the in condition so these all logs are stored in your required bucket and if i want to show you the retention so here just check it check at this so you can edit sync here disable sync here but if i go to require so you cannot edit or you cannot disable because this is for a security purpose so these logs will be stored for your security purpose so it will have all the track record of one person is doing creating what resources deleting what resources any kind of audit activity will be used inside bucket and that's why it is having a retention of 400 days okay so if i go here and i'll show you the view sync details okay uh, let it here is not showing the retention so if i go to a log storage also so it will show you the option okay here you could see the retention so default log it will show uh, the type of data it is 43 mb as of now for this month and month to date usage and this required audit logs are not built and it is having retention period 400 period and this is having retention period of 30 days so that is very important for any of the google cloud certification exams so what are the two different bucket for storing your log and what are the retention period and what kind of logs stored in uh, each bucket so when you do a good hands-on on this logging so you will get a good understanding of that and from here we can create a new log sync so suppose you want to create a sync or you want to create a storage you want to store a logs related to your vm instance in particular storage bucket you can create sync also so we'll see how we can create sync how we can store log in our bigquery table or a pub sub or our storage bucket in our uh, next video so for this video i just want to walk you through the google cloud logging and what are the different ways to analyze your so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in a next video.